Well, um, you know, I was on Saturday Night Live with Victoria Jackson, and we have a little bit different political views. <laughs> And um, I actually always loved Victoria when we were on the show together. Um, and she was always really nice to me and we always got along pretty good. Um, but even back then, you know, like a lot of people come up to me and they say, come on, tell me, is she doing like an Andy Kaufman act? Like, is this some sort of like um, act, you know, anyway. But as far as I know, it's for real. And, um, and I realize I live in such a precious environment. Like, I barely know anyone who has the views that she has, I, even though she's gone so extreme. Um, but I was going to tell you a couple of things she said that were funny to me when we were on SNL. One is, I, I remember this, I have this memory of waiting to block a scene or light a scene. We were just waiting off to the side, and it was Victoria, me, and Al Franken. And Al Franken and Victorian had been in arguments, and I had mostly stayed out of it. I just kind of liked to watch them talk. And... And Al leaned over and he said, well, Victoria, I mean, you would care, like, you do care about poor people as a Christian, right? You think poor people, like, should have health care, right? And Victoria said, um, no, because, I mean, if they die sooner, it just means they go to heaven sooner. <laughs> and I remember just sitting there like this and, like, just turning to Al and going like this. <laughs> Anyway, but she was always really sweet. And then I did this show. No, it's actually, we truly have a, you know, a, I don't know if you'd say respectful. But anyway, so she came to my show, Letting Go of God. And of course, you know, like kind of, we went further in our beliefs that we were at on SNL. We kind of went further in that area. And she came to my show and she brought her Bibles. You know, she went to a Bible college and she brought her friends and she said she was going to debate me about the Bible. And I was like, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> And we had a few emails going back and forth about it. And, um, and then she started doing things on her show. She has like this little web shows. Like she started doing songs like about me, like not saying my name, but like about me on the show and how she wanted everyone to pray for me from, you know, to come to Jesus and stuff like that. And she started tweeting all this stuff. Like it's really just gotten crazier and crazier. In fact, just a couple of months ago, I tweeted something to her like, Victoria, God wants you to be quiet. Timothy 2.12. <laughs> Women are supposed to stay indoors and never talk. Um, even though I actually, I really love Victoria because it's kind of fun to know someone who has those views. Anyway. Jill? When they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean? <laughs> Remember the Garden of Eden before Eve hung out with that snake? You could walk down the street, not worry about thieves All the kids could go trick-or-treating Then those foreigners started coming in Like the Germans in 1790 Then the Irish arrived, the potato blight The neighborhood started changing Life was better, we lived right Life had a paler shade of white when they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean? You can sing the next chorus. <laughs> Before there was Ellis Island, and that statue we got from the French. Well, that horse still alerting with strangers, she's flirting, inviting them into our beds. The guineas, the coolies, the wetbacks, the reds, the Jews, now those terrorists. And who let in the woman, let's up to my kids, and the one who is cleaning my mess. Life was righteous, life was clean. Send them all back, including me. When they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean? Before the 
the gays had their agenda Before the slaves were free Before that man from Kenya He took the presidency Everyone, when they say we want our America back Our America back, our America back When they say we want our America back well, what the fuck do they mean? More sincere when they say we want our America back, our America back, our America back. When they say we want our America back, well, what the fuck do they mean?